three very exciting races at the Circuit of the Americas, Austin, Texas, USA. A more complex circuit, I would say, than last week's, which is super fast Monza, more complex and perhaps trickier. Let's see if uh, our drivers think that. Anyway, different circuit, but the same winners. Beitz Kavissa and Emma Kimmelainen. So let's find out if it was quite as simple as they made it look. Let's start with Beitzka. Beitzka, tell us, congratulations, another two victories. Congratulations, yes. But tell us a little bit about the Austin circuit. Is it complex and tricky, particularly compared with Monza last week? Thank you, yeah. Um, Kota is a very different track compared to Monza. Monza I have um, long straights and heavy breakings, and this track is really uh, fast and flowing. If you make a mistake in one corner, you mess up quite a few corners after that as well. So, um, yeah, you really need to be in a good flow. Also, we've seen in practice session track limits are quite an issue. So uh, it's quite a challenge to, to get a lap in without track limits in quality. Very interesting comparison. And of course, the next race, another Formula One track, but a Formula One track of the past. Obviously, Monza and Cota, Circuit of the Americas, Austin, Texas, are both currently on the Formula One uh, calendar, but Brands Hatch used to be, but is no longer. But that's where we're racing next time. And of course, you've raced there, as indeed have all of you raced there last year for real, in the real on track W series. So I'm going to ask you can you maintain your race winning form at Brands Hatch next week? I hope so. I mean, that's definitely the aim. Um, but everybody else will be practicing as well. Uh, it's a bit of a shorter track, so I'm expecting everyone to be a bit closer again. Um, but yeah, I definitely try. Okay, congratulations, Baitska. Two great wins today. Now I'm coming to you next, Emma. Obviously, you've become, we didn't know this, you've become a first grid specialist. <laughs> yes, that's the only, only way I get a chance. <laughs> It's, what's your secret? How are you managing to turn in these reverse grid race wins? I don't know. I, I was, it was nerve wracking. I was shaking and all that because every breaking is a mystery. Uh, so I don't have the consistency yet. Um, but it, I just saw a few good places to overtake there and, and, and I had luck as well. So uh, then I managed to, to get a big lead. And then I was just hoping that the time will last so that I don't, um, while I'm doing many mistakes, I still won't get catched. So, <laughs> so that worked out. And um, yeah, I'm pretty yeah, happy and, and once again shocked that I actually won. <laughs> well, you say that you're struggling and you're, you, you say that you're worrying about the breaking and you got a lot of luck, but you know, you seem to be consistently winning these reverse grid races, so something special going on. But I'm going to ask you, obviously, you haven't um, managed to challenge Beitzka in the conventional races. Um, next time out, Brands Hatch, I know it's a circuit you love. Do you think you can challenge Beitzka and win a non-reverse grid race next week? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Uh, the sim racing is very different to, to real life, life racing. So um, I will obviously not be on the same level that I would be if we would be there. Um, but, um, but it would be a lot easier for me to go there and to start racing and practicing that track because I'm already familiar with it. But for example, with this uh, Texas track, I had never been driving it and it takes a long time in a sim to learn a track because you don't have any muscle memory or anything like that. So, um, uh, yeah, I am one step of ahead <laughs> now and I know already the track, but uh, it's good. she's very fast. <laughs> well, congratulations, Emma, nonetheless. If I Thanks. may to you, Alice, next. Now, you've improved greatly since last week, the Monza races last week. Um, two podiums here. What do you put that improvement down to? 
I have no idea. I wish I'd know, actually, or I wish I knew, to be honest. I haven't, I've done the same amount of uh, practicing. Um, I think, you know, staying out of trouble is a huge thing. So I managed to stay out of trouble in the first two races, just about. And then the final race, I thought was just going to be a disaster and it ended up being a disaster. I was in the pits, uh, getting a repair, came out last place and managed somehow to get up to, to eight. So, yeah, I have no idea, Matt. I can't tell you. But someone needs to stop bikes, Skado. <laughs> well, you say someone has to stop bike skirt, and of course I'm going to ask you about the very next race, because that's going to be on a circuit that you know extremely well, and of course that in real life you won the W Series race at last year, and I'm talking about Brands Hatch. You're very quick there, you know it very well, you love the circuit. Can you repeat that victory in a sim next week? I'd like to think so. Um, at least I know the circuit now. So, you know, kind of like, like all of us, we've all raced there um, last year, a majority of us on the grid. So at least I know where it goes. So I think I just need to stay out of trouble. Qualifying, you would say qualifying is important, but I think there was a few at the front that, that kind of had a few incidents um, at the in the races today. So who knows, Matt? I'm not very good at answering these questions because I don't know today. <laughs> Well, I, I know you don't actually know, but I'm asking you to kind of predict. Okay, I predict I'm going to win all three races. There you go. That's what I like to hear. I've just woken up from my dream. Not really. <laughs> Caitlin, I'm going to come to you next. Now, you were quick at Monza last week. Whole positions, very, very quick. And you've been quick here at Austin this week. So I'm going to ask you a, a more general question, though, first of all. Tell us what you think of the correlation between the on-track and online versions of W Series. That's a hard question. <laughs> um, well, sim racing is so different to real racing, but like very similar at the same time in like when you are racing each other. So um, it's been fun. It's been interesting. I think, I'll, you know, the fear factor is taken away when you go into sim racing because you're not actually in the moment. So people probably make more moves than what they would uh, in real life. Um, but no, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And I think, you know, um, We'd all prefer to be out in the real cars, but this has been a really great initiative to get into and, and have fun with one another and, uh, you know, show more uh, women in the, in the sim racing environment. So I've um, really enjoyed it and I'm happy that I'm up the front so far. We've just got to stay out of trouble in the races, which I managed to do today. So yeah, no complaints. <laughs> Well, you say you're up the front, uh, and you are. You are up the front. I mean, you were fourth and second in the two conventional races, in other words, the non-reverse grid races. Can you go one better and actually beat Beitzka next time out at Brands Hatch? I'd like to think so, <laughs> just like all of us here. Uh, you know, like, like Alice said, it's, it's, it does come down to a little bit of luck, staying out of trouble. Uh, I do think qualifying well helps. You know, you're in the front two rows, so you can sort of stay away from the carnage. But, um, yeah, that's the goal. Someone has to knock her off, so <laughs> we'll give it a go. <laughs> Thanks very much, and well done again, Caitlin. Now, finally, I'll come to you, Tasmin, if I may. Fourth yep. place, last race just now. Talk us through that race. Well, I started on the front row and um, your, your nerves already kick in and uh, you just got to make sure you get off the line. You don't always know how you're going to get off the line. <laughs> um, and then I just made a mistake, ran off the track. So I got a little penalty, which I had to slow down. And then starting the last corner, I just took a little bit too much curb and ended up half spinning. So I went back to eighth or seventh place. And yeah, I think some racing, I feel feel like I get more nervous than I do in the actual race car which is weird because <laughs> like it, it's just a, it's, it's a game but we sort of take it all seriously and um, yeah I think we just got to keep working like the the girls in the front and got to try catch Beitzka and Caitlin who are very consistent um, yeah just enjoying it and having fun and we'll see what happens. 
Now you say you're having fun and that's good to hear, but you're also taking it seriously, which is also good to hear. How does one improve uh, as a sim racer? Is it simply a case of hours and hours of practice or is it a different technique really from racing a car on a real track? Well, I think it's different techniques from a, a, a racing a real car on track because you don't really have the feeling you do get from a real race car. You don't uh, drive, you can't feel the car through, through your bum and you only literally depending on the steering wheel for feedback. So I think that's a difference and obviously doing a lot of practice is going to help you get faster and I unfortunately have a day job so I can't sit in front of the sim and um, play as much as I can to try and get quicker. Um, so yeah, I think it's just doing laps and it's, it's the same as a real racetrack. I mean, the only way you're going to get faster on the track is by doing laps and I think it's the same, same in sim racing. Last question. Same as I've asked some of the others, next time out, Brands Hatch, a circuit you know and I think like. Tell us about how you're going to approach that to try and move that bit farther up the order and perhaps start getting podiums and even maybe not bites go off her perch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I need to stop making mistakes, um, stop getting so nervous and... Um, just catch these two in the front, but it's just, I think it's all about consistency and just improving on yourself every time you get in the, in the car, but you're not actually in the car. Um, so yeah, I think just take it as it comes and we know the track, like, well, most of us know the track, so it makes it a little bit easier and um, I'm sure it will be make for interesting racing at Brands. Thank you very much, Tasmin, and thank you all. So three great races at Austin, Texas. Circuit of the Americas. Next circuit that our W Series drivers or W Series Esports League drivers are going to, as we know, and as they know very, very well, it's a circuit they've all raced on for real, is Brands Hatch in England, Kent, United Kingdom. Brilliant circuit, used to be used for Formula One racing, not anymore, but an absolutely top class circuit. Very undulating, a lot of, eleva a lot of elevation change and indeed a real test of drivers. I can't wait. Make sure you don't miss it or miss them because we're doing three races as usual at Brands Hatch. Same time, same place. In other words, 1900 hours or 7 p.m. BST, British Summer Time, BBC Sport website, BBC iPlayer, YouTube, Twitch or Facebook. See you then. Bye-bye.